My name is Kenneth Thompson. I am fortunate to serve as the Chief Information Officer for the Baltimore City Schools. Within the district, we serve approximately 85,000 students, approximately 15,000 staff members. Our current fleet is roughly 55,000 devices, which is inclusive of the VDI client. Here in Baltimore, even though we are experiencing challenges in funding, there are also opportunities that we are able to save funds to invest in other areas to enhance the environments for our students. One of those environments is the virtual desktops that I'm talking about here today. I was very pleased as we did our pilot of VDI for our first pilot testing for a park test. The state took note of Baltimore City in that we were the only LEA in the state that did this. And I was excited about it because it could have been an opportunity that we could have completely failed. But it was not a failure. It was a complete success. VIEW was one of the solutions we looked at and considered was based on the fact that it was certified by PARC. We didn't want to roll out an untested or an uncertified product, even if it might have been something that was cheaper or it might have worked in our environment. We really were after an enterprise class holistic solution. In order to roll out our PARC assessment testing, we have to have specific browsers. We can administer one image. That image is considered to be a parent image. We attach what we consider a snapshot to that parent image. We only have to do one deployment for each lab, which makes setting up and deployment a whole lot easier. The way we would go between a testing environment and go back to our regular instructional environment would be as simple as changing the snapshot on our pool. Once we change the snapshot to the parent image, it's as simple as a click to go back and forth between which deployments we want to use, whether it's instructional or whether it's park testing. We have a lot of equipment in our district that's anywhere from six to maybe even eight years old. So for us, looking at thin clients or looking at a view solution would allow us to extend the life of such aged equipment, whereas we can then take that eight-year-old device and kind of compare it and utilize it the same way we would a new piece of technology so that our students have an opportunity to utilize the equipment and utilize the technology in today's standards. Ensuring that the children have access to all the technology is a key challenge for us. And that's one of the reasons why we're looking at different ways of getting the technology out for them. Whether it be mobile computing, whether it be BYOD, we're trying to look at different methods that would help keep that technology in their hands. We do find that a lot of students have access to mobile computing, such as cell phones and some tablets at home, but not all of them. There is a disparity amongst those that have the technology and those that do not. Our greatest goal is really to put the technology in the hands of the children. Digital equality is a key component and a key strategy goal for the Baltimore City Public Schools. I was at a meeting last week with the mayor and she highlighted the need for digital equality, expanding that access so that our students have access. VDI is just one component of that equity or that access. Having that same image or that same footprint or that same login credentials that you see here in the, in the district, but having that at home, it's going to play a key role in providing access for our students. They have truly served us well as a district.